Hi, I'm Paul Torgerson. It's Tuesday, February 19th, 2019, and this is a look at the information security news from overnight. From ZDNet, an update to Google Earth has accidentally led to the exposure of secret Taiwanese military locations. It is possible to see the exact location, base layout, building structures, and the locations of missile launchers. A task force has been created to work with Google to blur the sites, while the military will be working on improving the camouflage of facilities on the ground. From Wired.com, How fast is your breach containment response? A new report studying attackers' breakout speed found that Russian hackers move from initial intrusion to jumping to other machines or escalating their privileges within your network in just under 19 minutes. By comparison, the Chinese took four hours, the Iranians five hours, and non-state-sponsored attackers took about ten. More details on Wired or read the CrowdStrike annual global threat report. From the New York Times, dozens of corporations and multiple U.S. state agencies have been hit in aggressive attacks by Iranian and Chinese hackers, including attacks that prompted an emergency order by the Department of Homeland Security during the government shutdown last month. It is believed these attacks are a form of retaliation for the president's withdrawal from the Iranian nuclear deal and his trade conflicts with China. Recent attacks on American banks, businesses, and government agencies have evidently been more extensive than previously reported. I want you to think about these last two stories together. First, from Tucson News Now, North Country Business Products says an investigation of suspicious activity led to the discovery that an unauthorized party deployed malware to 50 different businesses that it serves. Attackers potentially had access to credit and debit card information of consumers who patronized certain restaurants and hotels in the Tucson, Phoenix, and surrounding areas between January 3rd and January 24th. Now from Inforum.com, North Country Business Products found that hackers were able to access certain restaurants' data, including debit and credit card information. Hackers potentially accessed cardholders' names, credit card numbers, expiration dates, and security codes used at certain restaurants and Dunn Brothers locations throughout Fargo, Minnesota, and surrounding areas between January 3rd and January 24th. I'm not sure where else North Country Business Products does business, but they obviously had an issue in January. And that's all for me today. Have a great rest of your day, and until tomorrow, be safe out there.